America is exceptional. The United States accounts for just 5% of the world's population, yet is home to about a quarter of all global economic activity. A mere one in every 20 people living on the planet today is a U.S. citizen, yet seven of the top 10 largest companies in the world are American. Think of how many everyday objects around us are a product of American innovation and science. Smartphones and air conditioning, automobiles and electric cars, the personal computer and the World Wide Web, jeans and the vacuum cleaner, vaccination against COVID and the supermarket. These are all American innovations. Some might even add airplanes, the light bulb, and telephones to that list. In almost every corner of the globe, from Kampala, Uganda, to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, to Croydon, England, people, especially young people, embrace many aspects of American culture. There is a massive global appetite for U.S. movies. Millions who have never set foot in an American baseball stadium wear baseball caps emblazoned with the icons of U.S. teams. U.S. fashion is often emulated for good or ill. People eat American-style food and often aspire to living an American way of life. But why? What is it about America that makes her such a success by so many different measures? The laws of physics aren't any different in America, nor is it something in the water that explains America's success. America is an exceptional success story because of the way she is organized. In America, power is deliberately dispersed. This means that no one person or faction is supposed to be able to monopolize power. Even the greatest president has to ask permission from Congress to spend money. Whoever is in the White House needs to persuade Congress to pass laws that they like. Congress, regardless of which party is in power, can only enact laws that the Supreme Court finds to be constitutional. The Supreme Court, in turn, is made up of judges nominated by the president and approved by elected lawmakers. America works because there's often no single American response to a public policy problem. Instead, America is a collection of 50 different states, each able to do things a little differently. This is what people mean by the term federalism. Federalism might seem counterintuitive. Having 50 different solutions to a shared problem might sound like it is a recipe for chaos. But by having different states try different approaches, America as a whole gets to figure out what actually works far faster than countries run by a strong central government. America is exceptional not because she happens to produce smarter leaders than anyone else, clearly that is not the case, nor because America happens to have had a whole lot of luck. The U.S. is exceptional because of good choices that Americans made in the past which determine how America is organized today. America is fortunate today because of decisions that were made in a courthouse in Philadelphia in the summer of 1787. This was when the founding generation decided to adopt a constitution that dispersed power. By doing so, they hardwired freedom and limited government into the American system. Hold on, some people will say, America might have had some successes, but surely the American achievement is built on exploitation. The United States, many progressive professors insist, has only achieved what she has at the expense of others. It is not the U.S. Constitution that has made America rich, but the extortion of others. Many people, often paradoxically those living inside America but with little experience of the wider world, doubt the story of American success. In the next episode of America Explained, we will show how America was founded on a revolutionary idea that all people were created equal. Until the establishment of the United States, people throughout history were defined by their birth or their class or caste. While the United States, at times, produced laws and leaders that failed to live up to the revolutionary founding ideal, the ideal on which America was founded has been a force for good in the world. Far from being a nation built on hatred and racism, we will explore what it is about America that makes the United States the number one destination for migrants from all around the world wanting a better life. We will show how America has helped elevate the condition of humankind.